Oh my god, he's been waiting for us, Miriam. We're gonna fight him. Don't call me Miriam. Alright, so I think uh, I'm gonna be pretty quiet for a little while just so I can focus. Because. Oh, <laughs> dude, focus. Dude, he. he that, I call that goaltending. That's goaltending, is what that was. Okay. Oh, nice block, Silver Knight. That, that's a really cool deflection when he blocks the shurikens. Yeah. It's great when he blocks anything. It is, but it looks cool when he blocks the three shurikens at once. Okay. 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 Silver Knight, buddy, you gotta work on your placement. Jesus Christ. He rocked me three times in a row. He Did rocked you, you like a that? hurricane. Did you block that with your guard ability? Yeah. Fuck! This is like... Mm, that pisses me off because the hitboxes in this game mm, sometimes oh some, it's gonna be a rage episode sometimes Fuck. okay that's nice 2000 crit. oh he fired his sword i love it's that. good camera yeah that was, an this is a pretty sweet angle. that was an incredible fucking camera wasn't it You got a head flail, what does that do? Nothing useful. Yeah. Like, this phase is like, um. Oh, what's his name from Moroni Kenshin, the mummy guy? The the one episode I've ever seen of that show. That's the, all you've ever seen? Yeah. Dude, it's so good. That's what people tell me. Uh, ah, I can't he, remember his name. Fuck. Okay. Mm. But he, like, he has gloves mm. that are, like, made with gunpowder. Mm hmm And, uh, he, like, rubs them on his sword. And his sword, he's killed so many people with his sword. He's got, like, human fat, like, infused in it or something. Because it's, like, little serrated blades on it. Uh-huh. And uh, it ignites it. So he has a flaming sword. That sounds weird. Oh no, it's a sheet that has the stuff. He still has the gloves with the gunpowder, but that's just so he can blow people up. That's a weird thing and seems incredibly dangerous. Yeah, but anytime I've ever I ever saw Rowan Kenshin on like Adult Swim or anything, it was always that episode. It was the episode where he was fighting the mummy guy. That that was kind of that shows uh Frieza. Yeah, I, I, I get I gathered that. It's in a different place than where the rest of the show takes place, and it's a several fight, ep uh, several episode fight. Yeah, that was a mistake. I saw it coming too. Fuck. Okay. Okay. This fight is all about reactions. Oh man, that's unlucky. Bitch. What are you doing, Silver Knight? He's not letting me down. He's doing his best. What is he doing? Trying. It's like I got him. And then he does the single stab. I figured it out. So look at him. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna take this time to. So I guess it was just too fast for him, man. That's bad, because he's about to rock my world. Uh, Might want to use potion. Nah. There's only one thing left to do. Summon some insects. Okay. Well, your blood thing was still going, so that's yeah. good. Okay, and his explode now. I oh my call god. Absolute shenanigans. Wait, he didn't do it. He missed the grapple. His shurikens explode? Yeah, I said that. There you go. That was good damage. It was. Oh, you know what? You, there's a lot of blood over here. Zagatsu, do you need to go see a hematologist? I think so. That was <laughs> rude. 
<laughs> oh. Fucking serious, dude. Fucking <laughs> you need all kinds of serious, dude. <sighs> he didn't like your joke at all. He didn't. What an asshole. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it said, hey, Zach Getz, did you a hematologist? And then he didn't laugh. He instead was like... And he was like, Rah! He's like, oh, I have E.T. And, like, I'm really sensitive about it. Rah! And then he hit me with a sword, and then I died. He has uh, E.T. Yeah. Essential thrombocythemia, which is what I have. I thought that was extraterrestrial. Uh, no, E.T. has a lot of... Uh, has a lot Like of, Entertainment Tonight? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things that it's for. Okay, I swear. Okay, I'm just. I'm gonna. I, I gotta focus. This is. This is the. This is the one. You guys talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> we didn't want to distract you. But at the same time, kind of want to make you rage. Oh, I'm, that's that's. Just, <laughs> just, just well, I don't need now. no help with it, man. Hey, you canceled your attack animation and it still went through. Did yeah, you see but, it? Yeah. I don't like cheating. Those aren't even shurikens he's throwing. Those are kunai. I can't even see them. How can you tell? I just saw them land there a second ago. And they're kunai. Now the ones that the ninjas throw, and I'm pretty sure the ones that you can throw, are shurikens. Yeah, because the ability the is called... The ninja's called. ability is different, though. It only throws one. Yeah. <coughs> I like Zangetsu, he's cool. Zangetsu's tight, but like, he does so much damage. He's like this cool mixture between like, Orin and Roy. Okay, I saw him that time. I'm gonna take this time to do that. He seems like a jerk. He does seem like a he's jerk. A, he's a major jerk. But he's a cool jerk. He's a and he's, major and jerk. doesn't really commit to his beliefs. Oh, maybe Silverite is just canceling his grapple sometimes. I still think Miriam's my favorite. Miriam's pretty cool. Miriam's tight. We all agree Alfred sucks? Alfred sucks! Yeah, Alfred sucks. Dude, I get why Alfred exists, but like, I'd rather he but didn't. But he sucks. I'd rather he didn't. Sure wish you would have been a little bit cooler, bud. Me too. G Bell's okay, but like he's the bad guy, so like he's also a little too extra. He is. He's See, like, I think the guy that's with him is pretty extra. Grimmery? Yeah. Yeah, Grimmery's pretty extra. Sh hell, hell. Oh, we're yeah. third phase. He's got a lightning sword oh, now. Is this, is this a new level of? Oh my god. Yep. He summons lightning! Oh, that's so much worse looking. <gasps> I've yet to see the damage, so I don't know. That's so much cooler. If it's the same, what's the point? It's just, it's just like, hey, he can do crazy things with his <laughs> sword. Maybe you're weak to lightning. That was a... That was a critical. I think ooh, uh, Silver ooh, might crit ooh, him ooh, at the same time that ooh, he got boy. hit. Ooh, boy. I suppose you could just throw lightning now. I don't, I, don't, to... I don't think I've seen an enemy crit you. Uh, I feel like I've that been was a crit. Quick hit. I, don't, I don't think that's a thing that can happen. Hell yeah! Oh. Hell oh, oh, fucking is it yeah! Ice? Is it ice? It is ice. Uh, what get, do we need don't Albert get too for? Excited. Zangetsu does everything that Albert does, except cooler. Also, I feel like you shouldn't end with your ice one. It's not as, as flashy or interesting as the other two. Yeah, but he, he that thing was pretty cool. Omnidirectional exploding bit. Yeah. And it's also a little different. Instead of an explosion, it does the that, yeah. which can throw you off. Oh. No! Oh. I mm. You did good, bud. You just need to do better. I need to do better. I need to. Do better. <laughs>
Hey, hey, everybody. Everybody over here. Hey, this is Logan. I need to do better over here. <laughs> Fuck, fucking prick. I mean. I know that. I'm not wrong. <laughs> we'll just do better. Okay. Fuck, I'm trying. Yeah, dude. Okay. I think. Okay. Okay. We're cool. We're cool as. Two of us are cool. Cool as a cucumber. What if you don't keep your cucumbers in the fridge? Then it's not cool. Well, then or are we saying the cucumbers are like cool in the like interesting sense? Yes. <laughs> I mean, in both cases, I feel like you're wrong, but okay. I'm pretty sure it's the temperature thing, because cucumbers need to be kept cool. What do, you, what do you think is cooler, a cucumber or a pickle? Pickle. I agree. Cucumbers kind of suck, honestly. Uh, I'm going to be real. The pickle from... Uh, what was he? Was well, you he? have a specific pickle in mind, dude. The the guy from SpongeBob, the guy who was part of the uh, jellyfish, uh, jellyfishers club. Yeah, he was a real uh, asshole. What are you talking about? I remember, I remember him. Yeah, he, he, he like. There was a pickle in SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. he like, was a, a sea character? pickle. What's yeah. a sea pickle? It's a thing that grows in the ocean. A sea cucumber? No, he was a pickle. No, he's a pickle. But. There's no such thing. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. <laughs> there we have video evidence that it's a thing. It happened. Are you talking about the SpongeBob thing or that there are sea pickles instead of sea Are you trying to say that Steven Hillenberg lied to us? Who because is Steven Hillenberg? The he creator of SpongeBob! Who are you? Who are you? I don't know who created SpongeBob. There's no SpongeBob. Why not? Why would I? You because should. It's it was integral. A, no, it was it a isn't. big deal that he passed away not long ago. You insensitive prick! People pass away all the time. I don't know all their names. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, if, wow. If the if the if the Steven Hillenberger age is is what gets me through here, then uh, you know, that's what a what a what an absolute prick. You see that? Look Fuck. there. See pickle. It refers to a number of different plants and animals in the ocean. There is literally fuck, no information fuck, on that page fuck, you just fuck, showed fuck, me. Fuck, plants, fuck, 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 animals, see also. It's all right there. You drop down, you dingus. All right, that one didn't count. That one didn't count. I'm saying that one didn't count. I didn't even watch it, so it didn't count. It didn't count. That ain't real. Okay, shuffles. Oh, pff, okay. <laughs> okay, shuffles. Sea cucumbers are real. Let's look at the sea cucumber page. Nautical facts with AMC. Here's nautical, nautical fact: the ocean fucking sucks. Dude, that was gonna be not my nautical fact. Dude, twins. Look, see, I got pictures for mine. It looks like a poop. Okay, you can find pictures of sea pickles too. Look it up. No, that was that's the one you want to prove. Look at all the information Dude. on sea cucumber. This is what real stuff looks like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you had you had one sentence and two links that had like one sentence a piece. Okay. Oh my god. Pages. This is what real stuff is. Some rando who watched SpongeBob wrote your page. What the actual F? Sea pickles, what nonsense. Anyway, there's an episode There was an episode of SpongeBob where he was part of the Jellyfishers Club and he, he was like and he was a jerk. But you can't judge all sea pickles off of the one. Fuck we don't do that. We don't I mean, judge everything off of a single example. Exists. It's not the only one that exists. Uh, I'm gonna use Granted, I don't think that any of the other ones that exist have the sentience to be a dick, so. Okay, what you're gonna well, do I mean, is they, get they could. I mean, imaginary things can be anything. I'm not having a discussion with you anymore in this episode. I'm Zach, you take over here. You can't pickle a sea cucumber. How do you know? Actually, I don't know that. Maybe you can. Yeah, yeah. Act like you know shit about aquatic vegetables <laughs> and animals. 
What about animals? Can we talk about for a second how stupid fish are? No. Uh, yeah. I'd fish, like to. Fish are absolutely dumb. They're they're very dumb. It, it's incredible, really. I mean, what do they need intelligence for? To live. They don't. Clearly not. Like <laughs> that completely counters the thing you just said. It's just it's just interesting because I'm pretty sure that fish are generally one of the dumbest creatures on the planet at least. I'm sure yeah. that there's something that's dumber than fish generally. It's just weird having something exist that's that stupid. Like all plants. Yeah. They're all dumber than fish. How absolutely And they're alive. Rude. How well, I'm talking about animals. I'm not talking about plants. Uh, okay, well, oh shit, you didn't I, say got, that. I got that. Bam. Okay. Okay, I feel really. Oh, okay, I well, let me good. rephrase it for you then. Most animals. I'm mean, sorry, fish are dumber than most animals in the world. I agree with that. Yeah. Deer are pretty fucking stupid. Deer are stupid. Shuffles would attest to that. Where he here? Dude, I did, I attested that. Yeah. <laughs> deer straight up ran into his car. Yeah. Like he Someone, didn't he didn't hit the deer, the deer hit him. Yeah, I I also didn't want to talk about it because uh like it was like um Shuff, Shuffles had his deal. Oh, he got me out of the air. Shuffles had his thing, but I got in a uh I was in a fender bender yesterday. Oh yeah? Yep, yeah, on a one sixty five. It sucks super hard. Why are you going around bending fenders? Well, I wasn't trying to do it. Did you hit them or they hit They you? hit me. So like what happened? So what happened was a 18 wheeler hit a guy and then he pinballed into me. And um, so like I was the last guy to get hit and uh, like Well, that means it was like you're not responsible mm. for any of it. No! Oh, what a finisher. Pinned you to the fucking wall, bro. He was he was right there. <laughs> I knew it. I like. I hit him like. You're getting to the last phase it, consistently. Like, you can I, beat him. I hit him like three more times, and then he'd be dead. And then, and then I would have to fight him again. And it, that's kind of dope. But anyway, the uh, about my uh, fender bender. Um, the cop lady was not very nice, and. You know, it, this happened like first thing in the morning. Like I was driving to work, and this happened. She wasn't very nice to you. She just wasn't very nice at all. Like in general. Um, She's probably not a morning person. Probably not. And like, you know, it was just, it was just like, like I didn't want to fucking be there either. Like, <laughs> I was like, dude, same lady. I don't know, man. Like all my dealings with police, like, are it, always to the extreme. They're either really nice. Or they or suck. Really fucking mean. Dude, yeah. Like, like I know, for no reason. Like I know that your job is fuck is very uh, stressful. Fuck me. And that nobody likes you because you enforce rules and we don't like rules, but like, honestly, they're necessary. I, I think I'm just gonna take this L to be honest. Probably should. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna take the L. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever had an interaction with a police officer where they were nice. I had, Pretty sure they've always uh, been just. When I got my dicks. ticket a few days ago, that guy was really nice. There was a guy who uh, who had to serve me papers because in my accident from like 2014, um, they were suing me like two years later. Uh, so like he was like, like he walked into. You the got room. sued. Yeah, it got taken care of through insurance companies and whatever. They were just trying to get an extra payout, I think, because people are dicks. Yeah. But um. But uh, he like he came into the pharmacy. He was like, "Oh, a nice building you got here." They just kind of like handed me the papers and whatever. He's like, "So what do you do here?" And I was just like, "Oh, okay. This is not the interaction I expected to have today." But then she was like, "She was like, how many times did you get hit?" And I was like, "I felt two hits." Oh fuck! The, the fight started. The fight is going. Um, sorry, I like. <laughs> I thought you were just yeah. gonna stand there and uh, take it. So I'm just gonna so, take this L too. But like. Uh, she was like, she was like, how many hits was it? And I was like, I felt like I got hit twice, but it could have just been shit that was like, like fucking around in my back seat, or not my back seat, my uh, trunk or whatever. That was bullshit. Um, and uh, I just know that I felt like I got hit twice. She was like, well, I need a definite, sir. And I was like, well, I definitely got hit once. And <laughs> well, you're, you're definitely a cunt. And you're <laughs> definitely being a bitch right now. And you could definitely get 100% of the way off my back right now. Like, my, like, you don't even have to be nice in that situation. Yeah. Your car, you just got fucking yeah. hit by another car. Yeah, and, it, like, and one of those cars was an 18-wheeler. 
Maybe, maybe be like not. Why can't I do shards? Um. I don't really care um, how bad of a day you're having. Yeah, like, My day's worse than dude, yours was, right now. It was like it was 7:45, and I was just like, I'm trying to get to work because people need me. Be like, like I have patients that need me, and you're being an absolute cunt about a traffic accident. Which I get it. It sucks that you have to deal with it, but you know, you could be a little nicer. I think. Wow. And like I saw it happen too. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, I felt really bad for the the truck driver because he was like, yeah, I've been driving for like. Uh, I've been driving for like 25 years and I started this job a week ago and I was like fuck man I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble, you know, but like it involved three <laughs> But you almost ran me over it was, But it involved three cars and one of them was like the, the, the other one was like an older guy So like I was like I can't not call the police on this one, you know No, you have to call yeah, the police it was, in And it was like it was on 165 too. Situation like that. Yeah, I was like I was like, you know, this isn't something that like we ourselves can can like <laughs> we can't like just settle this out yeah, here. We, we can't we can't do that like that's and uh, it should act and the truck driver probably doesn't have to deal with any of it yeah. they, but their like, company is gonna like, or felt, their company's insurance is but gonna I felt pay bad just because he was like I started this well, job a week ago him. like yeah he's like I started this job a week ago fuck man I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble like I just like you know and I doubt they fire him over a fender bender they're pretty lenient with truck drivers I mean, he he acted like he was pretty, you know, like he acted like that, that was the end of it, you know. Well, he's probably, then maybe he's done it before. Maybe <laughs> he was just trying to like get you to not make him have his last straw. Are you, I, don't, I don't know if they're really necessarily you, that lenient on truck drivers. Anyway, my my uncle certainly doesn't make it sound so. I don't know if that hitbox was friendly <laughs> or not. Because I feel like his sword was a good distance away from me on that one. We can look was, at was it. Was it I, the lightning maybe that hit you? It, it could have been, but I feel like I got hit in the air. No, the lightning is in the air. Um, Lightning's more in the air than the no, sword. No, but he, he was truck in the drivers. air, too. I have a question about truck drivers. Okay. When they sling rocks into your windshield, can you call their company? Will they make them pay for it? I don't know. I guess, I guess you have to have substantial proof, right? And that's kind of the, and that's kind of the deal. Because that shit happens way too often. There's a crack in my windshield right now from that. What did, what I don't. They, I don't really think that they can. Like, like they. I don't think that they would pay for those damages or anything. Because I mean, they can't predict like what the road condition's gonna be or yeah. anything like that. Like these people aren't like, driving recklessly or over speed yeah. limits or it's, anything. It's not like, about, it just happens. It's not about that though. Like, trucks are. 18 wheelers are notoriously bad for slinging rocks and cracking people's windshields. Well, yeah, that's why they have the flaps on the back underneath, uh, behind the tires. But I mean, they can't control 100% every time that that happens. You know, like yeah, it's not but, their fault. But it, they could still take responsibility for it. They could, but it costs money. And they're not going to. Nobody that has to take responsibility with money is going to willingly do it. There's been a lot of trucks that I wanted to call the how am I driving number. Oh yeah. How, how am I driving? Like a fucking <laughs> ne prick. Never for a positive thing either. Really? Okay. I mean, if you feel like that's what happened, I don't think that's what happened. <laughs> like, is, is it even a thing to call those numbers over a positive? Just like, hey, just want to let you know, I thought your driver was doing a great job. I, mean, I think sure. there are people that do that. Probably. But do you think that they people care? People can be weirdly nice. Yeah. They're just like, alright, cool. Like, I have, I got, like, you know, I, I've been, so they've moved, they moved my desk, or workstation in the pharmacy, and, uh, I've, uh, so I've been talking to a lot more patients, that, like, on the phone. That was a ballsy and, move um, there. It was. Um, ooh, boy. You used crit um, twice. I did, it was incredible. Um, so I've been talking to a lot more patients on the phone, and I just try to, like, be as nice as I can to them, and, boy, are they grateful. Um... <laughs> Because some of them, like, I guess they've had, like, real shitty dealings with other pharmacies. And, man, like, I get it. Like, you want, just, like, you just want, like, a, like as, as as weird as it is to say, you just, like, want a smooth experience trying to get your medication. And, uh... Well, that's true of anything. Yeah, yeah but I, I think that, and, that really... And I feel for people on, on both sides of, of yeah. like, 
companies and customers because companies can be assholes and but and customers can do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Like but, uh, I, I've had so many bad calls with customers at different companies. Yeah, but like but like some patients like we 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 uh deal with a lot of patients like all around across the state in Texas and Mississippi and Arkansas. We deal with a lot of them. So like we ship out a lot and uh they suck that blood. Uh, I don't need to right now. I'm just trying to I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> Um, but what was I saying? It's like, yeah, just these patients, like, that, like, you know, they need these medications and, um, you know, they're having to be shipped. Just, like, being nice to them and, like, like, you know, trying to take care of what they need is, like, like, you can tell how grateful they are when they're, when you're just like, yeah, we can take care of that for you. No worries. Well, see, I feel like it's a different situation, though, because in that case, you're talking about customers dealings with the companies <clears throat> where it affects the, the customer like in the other case we're talking about just a driver calls up a, a truck company and is just like hey i thought your driver was doing a good job i mean I'm like just, it, yeah. does that really mean anything at all to the company i'm pretty sure they can only care if it's maybe a bad thing. maybe they they make a note of it in the driver's file in case something happens and you'll be like are you okay what you, are you nothing fucking you serious there. right now what just happened there See, that's that bullshit hitbox I was talking about earlier. Yeah, that was that was quite the bullshit hitbox. I'm I'm with you on that one. Fuck you, Angetsu. No, I'm getting <laughs> Angetsu. You fucking prick. This is this is another bloodless episode. Maybe we should call the people that made this game. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. I don't wanna call. I don't wanna call Papa Papa Iga and be like, hey, hey. Hey pops. The fuck, bro. <laughs> you. Hey pops. It's kind of weird you call him Papa. Hey, hey. Uh, uh. Here's the thing, Iga. Uh, what the fuck? That Zengetsu fight at the end. I I gotta call Bananigans on some of those hitboxes, my dude. Well, he's probably like, I mean, that was a programming site. Don't talk to me about it. Dude, you designed it. This <laughs> is like, did I, did I write the code? <laughs> I told him to make his sword as big a hitbox as possible. <laughs> All right, Zangetsu. All right, David Hater. I'm just, I'm not, like you're not even you're not even Zangetsu anymore. You're David Hater. You fuck bitch. <laughs> okay. This is, I gotta dehumanize Zangetsu a little bit. You're you're dehumanizing a fake character <laughs> yeah, by like, referencing sorry. him as a real, real man. <laughs> yeah. Fucking David Hater ass bitch. I have nothing wrong. I have, I have no problem with David Hater. It's just except that he's not human apparently. <laughs> no, he's fuck you. Fucking android, David Hater. Fucking android, David Hater. You go deviant ass bitch. <laughs> David ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Having real emotions like a real person. Dude, what do you think? You're just like a machine. You just, what, you just think you're gonna uprise? You fucking bitch. David Hater doesn't actually exist. He was just a voice they programmed to be Snake. I wish. <laughs> oh. I wish we had played Detroit on the show. I think Shuffle wanted to. That game is so gosh dang good. That's what everybody says. I got. I'm, what the I'm gonna fuck try, try uh, Beyond Two Souls next. That's no. That's another one. People. Oh. Well, I think that's the same. I've heard it's that still one. Quantic Dream, right? Yeah. yeah. I've heard that one. <laughs> Well, uh, I know one person in particular didn't like it because, like, the outcome is always the same or something. Oh, it's one of those where no matter what your choices you make, the ending's still the same? Uh, apparently. I don't know if see, that's necessarily true because I haven't played it yet. See, but that's what I heard about Game of Thrones Telltale. I think that's what I said because I was real mad about yeah, that one. Yeah, it might have been you. Well, that, that kind of became a Telltale's thing at some point. Like, they started making it so that it was all illusion of choice, but all of them yeah, everything's the led same. to the same places. And I liked their Walking Dead series, but here's the, walk, the, the, walk, the, the, whole, hold the Walking Dead was good. The Dalking led. Game of Thrones was not. Here's well, they're gone now, so. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing about those games, though. Like... Like a, it it shows you everybody else's choice, right? Like he did a different thing. Like yeah. they also do that with uh, the Quantic Dream games. Yeah, but like it shows you like what choices everybody else made, and like so theoretically, your your choices should have some impact on the story because it's a story. Zangetsu, I swear to fucking God, dude, 
Your hitboxes are obnoxious. Because it's a choose your own adventure story? Yeah, but... Mm. This, this, the, mm. Like, I'm getting, like, legitimately frustrated now. Alright, well, let's take a break and you can try again on the next episode. Or we can just come back on I, the next I, one when you beat him. I figure that's what we're going to do. And now that the camera... I swear to God, when the cam if the camera's off and I, and I do this right now... Like, uh, mm, I'm gonna be mad. Just, <laughs> just, mm. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll, and we'll beat him. Fuck Zangetsu. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and fuck Zangetsu. David Hater ass bitch. Retweet if David ha Hater is a deviant. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.